All right, Data Rockstars, now that we have customer review data in our other video, downloading using ParseHub the web scraping data to look at sites, many of them from Yapo and other uh, review sites that have customer reviews on multiple pages and we wanna extract all that data, we can come back here and check out what we can do with it. So on Tableau Public, I have a little gift for you that was inspired by other people on Tableau uh, Public and we can find some interesting items there and this is it so i will shrink me so you can see what we've got here so taking that data file was just one column of all sorts of reviews that people individually typed in after their orders in this case the example used was aloe yoga but it could be absolutely anything volcom brooklyn and who knows what and i created a few graphs here the sizing doesn't look great on my gigantic monitor, uh, but uh, you can check this out. It is a little dashboard of a few graphs that has a search term in there. So of all of those reviews, without having to look through all of them and look at trends and count things ourselves, we have automation. So this is a neat little thing in Tableau. So you can type that term and it'll bring up a total uh, number of the reviews. Uh, some of those sampled here with the full one, and you can hover over to see the full text of that review. And then a little visualization, uh, hopefully that is 10 circles. So we can try it out here and maybe, let's see, soft could be in some reviews. So this is Aloe, uh, and they obviously make some fitness and yoga type clothing. So look at that, so soft, warm and cute. All right, so hopefully soft is in each one of these things. And that works out there, soft and cozy. So that looks good. Uh, what else would you have? Uh, like pants, you probably have pants there, right? Someone wrote something about that. So at least 50 reviews, awesome pants. There you go. And we could also have uh, maybe shirt. I don't know, <laughs> what else do they sell? Oh yeah, actually, so trying to think through what could be insightful for maybe like perfect fit so there could be a lot of other synonyms and stuff but i'm curious how many people absolutely say perfect fit so eight so that's good to know and how like bad fit would also be really helpful because you need to track how that well that does so it is this dashboard made up of these three uh things and then you could you know take a snapshot of that for your presentation but what's cool about this in tableau is i gave you the file so you can go ahead and click download and I enabled the option to download a Tableau workbook. So you can go ahead and do that. They even let you download it in these other versions of Tableau if you have an older version. Uh, so you can go ahead and click download. And in your existing file, if you're already doing research on a company and competitors and things like that, you can go to file import in Tableau. We're gonna actually just gonna bring up the file itself, but if you had a file with more uh, data and other things in it, you can go file, import workbook and bring this file that you downloaded in and it'll pop that right here and it'll, you'll just see that amongst your other tabs and everything but you want your data so if you go to that other video and run it for your customer data uh, make sure to name the field exactly uh, what it is in excel which we can show you uh, there in a second so it's important because we're going to replace my data with your data so in that case, the uh, Parsub software, when you just typed review text uh, at the top there, uh, it's very tiny, let's make it up bigger. So review text, and it added an underscore and name after that, because it was extracting that name from those web pages. So when you can add it later, if it didn't get it right, uh, and you have your downloaded file, just make sure it is exactly this. And uh, the Parsub probably downloaded it as a CSV. So save that as an Excel, so I called mine Allo Reviews 2, and make sure it's that Excel workbook, workbook XLSX uh, instead of the CSV. It could be either normally when you're graphing, if you did it from scratch, by all means do that, but we're uh, you know replacing my data with yours. So we gotta match it exactly. So it has to have that name that you'll see if you click on the data source tab, uh, it has it there. It doesn't show the underscore, it has the space, but it has to be there. And what we're gonna do, is go over here to one of the graphs and the data source on the upper left and you can let's see i'll say hello to you over there and i will click on reviews and edit data source and it'll pop us back to that data source tab and there's a little down arrow next to that microsoft excel click edit connection and then find 
your data and click it and click open. So then it will attempt to populate it down here. You definitely need to make sure that file name is correct or this won't work. Uh, there's some calculations in here that it searches for all the, the words and everything, um, but that review text name has to match exactly. And then it'll update this with whichever reviews that you have ready to go and you can use this in a presentation. So good luck analyzing your customer review data and feel free to use this of mine downloading from Tableau Public. I'll put the link in the description